Rogers here, President of Integrity Hockey League. Thanks so much for joining us for the second video here. Um, last video, we kind of talked about um, just a general process of what we did in the summer here. So now I want to get a little bit more in depth about what um, our leadership group, group here really did over the summer, what we looked at, what we changed, and, and how we're going to move forward here with this league. So um, again, what we did is we pretty much took a step back. We looked at the league as a whole and we said, what's the direction that we're going? What's the direction that we want to go? And does everything within this league align, right? So we took a full review of our mission statement, our vision statement, our code of conduct, and our rules package. We combed through it. Um, it was very long meetings over a span of weeks um, that we reviewed everything and we made a lot of changes to it. So we wanna make sure that everything in the code of conduct and the rules for our on ice and off ice play with the Integrity Hockey League matches the mission and the vision of the league. We reviewed the mission and the vision statement as well, first off, to make sure that that is the direction that we want to go. Everything was in line there. Um, so again, we just switched around everything, uh, made some adjustments, kept some things the same. I mean, we reviewed everything in its entirety. Some things are great. Some things are working very effective. Some things needed to be adjusted. So um, we went through the code of conduct, um, combed it section by section by section, and we adjusted some things. There are some rules that are going to be changed, um, penalty caps, things like that. We have adjusted. Um, when the registration is out, you will be able to review the code of conduct and the rules page in its entirety. You will have to agree to the terms before you can pay for the league and register. So um, you will have a chance to review that in its entirety. I thoroughly encourage you to do that. Um, there's a lot of things that are a little different in that than other bar leagues, and we do plan on enforcing those to its fullest extent, so that, that way we can make sure that the mission and the vision of this league is reached. Um, our goal for a league is to be dis disciple first, right? We want to disciple people first. We want to create relationships first. Hockey comes second. Um, the whole point is to be a ministry and talk to people and guys need guys, right? We want to create an environment where everyone has an incredible relationship on a team, that guys are getting discipled and growing in their walk with Jesus. And as a part of that, we get to play hockey together. Um, it seems like the past few years we've been kind of flip-flopped on that where we come here to play hockey. We want to win. We want to score goals. We want to dominate. Um, and we get so focused on the hockey aspect of it that we forgot about the guys. And that's really where we want to go with this league is we want to get back to the ministry mindset of discipling people. Um, so that that way they can go out and disciple others and we can spread the love of Jesus through Buffalo, through hockey. Um, so that's really what we want to get back to when we adjusted the code of conduct and the rules to reflect that. We made sure that our mission and our, our mission and our vision statement are in line with that same principle that we want to enforce here. Um, again, I definitely encourage you to go through that. It's not all doom and gloom on there where, you know, if you do this, you get penalties. We did add a couple things to enhance the gameplay itself. Um, there was a specific team last year, I'm not going to mention any names, the Whalers, um, that had a lot of ties. And um, which is, you know, it's a good thing to have for parity of the league. At the same time, though, who wants to tie a game five or six times? So um, we even made some adjustments to things to include um, a shootout during the regular season if we can do it. So that, that way there's always a winner and loser, not necessarily always have ties. And um, we reviewed how to enhance the playoff performance and so on and so forth. So um, definitely encourage you guys to review all that. Um, some other exciting things that we have here for the league. Um, we do have our first ever Integrity Hockey League sponsor. Um, so Torn Lucas, State Farm Agency. He's an agent with State Farm Insurance. Um, has generously agreed to become um, the first ever Integrity Hockey League sponsor, um, which is awesome. It's an incredible thing. Torin is an incredible guy. Um, highly recommend you reach out to him for insurance. His logo is going to be on the screen here for you um, with a phone number. Um, if you need auto insurance, renter's insurance, homeowner's insurance, um, State Farm does everything, man. They do banking, investments, life insurance. They do everything. So if you have any needs at all with anything like that, I highly recommend you give Torrin a call. He's a great dude. Um, just let him know that the Integrity Hockey League sent you. Um, 
and he will he will definitely hook you up um, with everything that you need for that so highly recommend that um, because of the sponsorship we are going to be getting all new jerseys which is sweet um, so very excited the leaders got together spent a lot of time picking out jerseys they're all NHL replica jerseys which are sweet um, we're going to be doing a jersey reveal here in a little bit once we get the jerseys in I want to make sure everyone can see it um, again they're going to be so cool the whole process has been incredible the jerseys are going to be dope um, we can't wait to get on the ice with them so um, keep an eye out for that too we're going to be doing the same thing we'll do a video for that um, facebook twitter instagram um, watch out for your emails here as well to make sure that that's all coming so um, get super excited for the season highly encourage you to register for the league register 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 registration should be open um, make sure that you register for the league. It makes everything easier. Um, we do have a new draft process. I'm going to go through that in the next video here. Um, keep an eye out for that, but it is imperative that you register for the league. Um, looking forward to skating with you guys here shortly. Can't wait for the season to start. Thanks for your time, guys.